Ryan Welch joining us now with a look at sports. All right, opportunity knock for one local team on the hardwood, Ryan. That's right. It's not every day you get a top 10 foe in your own barn. That was the case for Wake Forest tonight. The Deeks looking for a signature victory in non-conference play. Wake hosting undefeated Xavier in the annual Skip Prosser Classic. The Deeks came out pumped and ready for this one, and they got off to a great start. Mitchell Wilbekin knocking down the triple on the wing. Later in the half, Frank Crawford with the dish down low to Devin Thomas for the jam. Wake is up seven early against the unbeaten Musketeers, but Xavier looking at Jalen Reynolds. He thunders that one down. The first half, though, was all about the Deeks. Wilbekin, the steal. Outlet to Cody Miller. McIntyre ahead to Crawford. Tic-tac-toe. Wake up 15 at the break. Second half, much different story. Edmund Sumner with anger in his eyes. What a huge slam. Xavier down just two. Then Miles Davis for three in the corner. It was a great game, but Xavier had too many answers. They take down Wake Forest by a final score of 78-70. We settled for too many jump shots today. You know, we can't play games when our leading scorer only gets three field goal attempts. Now we shot 10 free throws, so that means he got fouled in the shooting motion a few times, but um, we, 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 we have to continue to play inside out. We were being soft in the rebound, they were out rebounding us. Um, we were set on for threes. Um, it was just a. We just gave the game away, basically. All right, NC State hosting UNC Greensboro. Tight game, second half. Demetrius Troy to Deontay Baldwin for three. NC State's lead is just two. Two possessions later, Baldwin drives and pulls up for the bucket. We're tied at 46 with under four minutes to play, but Cat Barber turns it on, slashes, and lays it up and in. Then he finds an open Caleb Martin. His only three points of the day, splashing that one home, and then Barber. Mid-range jumper, NC State takes down the Spartans in a tight one, 58-52. I just think we ran our stuff more, and you know, we buckled down the defense. You know, I think the beginning of the game, we came out solid, then we um, let it go. In the second half, we came out, we guarded the whole second half, and came out and won the game. Obviously, I'm, I'm not pleased with the result, but really proud of my guys. Um, really proud of the way they fought. We had, we had some trouble scoring the basketball tonight. I thought there were some stretches where we didn't get great shots, but I thought there were stretches we did get great shots and just didn't kind of convert. Carolina Panthers seeking their 19th consecutive regular season win when they head to Atlanta for a showdown with the Falcons Sunday. But they may not have star running back Jonathan Stewart. Stewart did not play last week against the Giants due to a foot sprain, and he did not practice with the team Tuesday. Head coach Ron Rivera says Stewart is out of a walking boot and continues to work with trainers. But according to the head coach, if Stewart misses more time in the regular season to get ready for the playoffs, no big deal. Last time he had a whole bunch of time off was last year, and I remember what happened when he came out and played against uh, New Orleans and then from that point on. So I, I really don't think there is, Bill. I mean, I feel pretty comfortable if, if he gets a week or two more weeks off. Uh, I'm very comfortable with that. And Sharon, when you're 14-0, you're pretty comfortable with everything that's going on, and head coach Ron Rivera has a lot to be comfortable about. Let me ask you this. Could okay. Atlanta be the team to finally end this? Well, the last two times the Falcons have played the Panthers, Carolina has absolutely steamrolled them. So it's in the Georgia Dome, so it might be tight. It's going to be tighter than the uh, previous matchups, but Panthers are playing awfully good right now. So you're saying there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. That's right. right. Thank you, Ryan. All right. All right, still to come here at 11, in one community, someone has been distributing flyers for the Ku Klux Klan, and police want to know who's doing it. Details on the investigation 